Sarah, thank you for talking about this. Yeah. Because it, although people say, you know, there shouldn't be a stigma there about is. mental health and depression yeah. taking antidepressants, you feel there still is? Well, I mean, I wrote this piece because there was a, a news story about uh, how difficult people found getting off antidepressants because they had side effects. And I tried to get off uh, an antidepressant called Cymbalta, which is also known as duloxetine. Mm -hmm. And I had the most horrific side effects. I mean, completely mad. I went to... It was awful. I couldn't, I couldn't do it. And every time I tried, I had to get to start taking it again. Um, and then, but then I sort of wrote a general piece about that. And then we had so many letters mm -hmm. from readers, so many letters from readers, all saying similar things. You know, I went on this thing. It was really helpful at the time. Then I tried to come off it. Then I couldn't come off it. Um, and now I'm sort of stuck. Um, and the thing about antidepressants is that they are brilliant when you need them, definitely. Mm -hmm. I mean, and I think people should, you know, go and see the UGP if you need if you need help, get it. But the thing is, they do the, the way they work. Kind of is they sort of they sort of make the pain go away, but they also make the happiness go away so they, they sort of take away a lot of your emotions on several levels yeah. and so you can end up feeling a bit like a bit sort of dead inside which is what happens. even though you're coping even though you're maybe. coping yeah. you're fine and in my case I'd had sort of anxiety episodes all my life and and and, and bits and pieces and I even had postnatal depression with my son my second child and I never took them I never needed them because I too well, you was offered, a little bit well, you I was them. yes mm. yes well yes I was I was I was offered them and I always felt oh no 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 it's fine I'm going to do this on my own and then I sort of got to a stage in my life where there was just so much going on I just knew I didn't have the time to go off and have the therapy and to or to just take a few bit of time out you know which is did often you, did you tell people that you were taking antidepressants because no from no, the outside, no I was really worried very successful well, career. Also, I was really worried that if I told my you know I kind of thought if I told my employer they might think that, that you know I can't do my job I was really worried about all of that kind of stuff and actually funnily enough going on them really helped because I, I you know one of my symptoms of, of sort of anxiety and depression is just I couldn't do anything like even just posting a letter was like a massive huge what about your family job. You're, you're married to Michael Gove yes a politician um, you've got teenage children now yes. but at the time did you talk to your family did they know something was wrong or um, I think my husband knew something was wrong, uh, um, but no, I didn't talk to my children about it. No, definitely, and I certainly didn't talk about my mother. The first, the first my mother knew mm. of this was when I wrote the piece two weeks ago. She rang me up and said, "You're right, really? darling." I went, "Yes, no, I'm fine." She went, End of conversation. Yeah. But you know the interesting thing, Doctor, with all of this, Sarah's talking, and she's actually saying, "These worked for me mm. to to a degree." Yeah. Um, so is it that are they that bad? Antidepressants can be the right thing for somebody but they're not for everybody. And I think where, where Sarah was, I think you would say now, even if you were to go back in time, yeah. you probably would have still taken them. Yeah. Um, but it is really important to be informed of the side effects that you can get when you start taking them, which is usually just the first week or two, um, but also you can have some withdrawal side effects when you're coming off them. I think Sarah's case is quite unusual and quite rare that you had quite severe side effects, yeah. um, but to have mild side effects is, is fairly common. But by far the commonest side effect I see when people come off antidepressants is that their depression or their anxiety comes back and comes back with full force, yeah. and that's because often because people feel how better. You come off them, though. Exactly. You, do you have to be kind of weaned off them slowly you with, with advice from your GP? Not Absolutely. Just stop I mean, it. I think the thing about them is, is that I, I, I like to think of antidepressants as a sort of scaffold on a house. Mm -hmm. Your house is falling down, so you put scaffolding up so that you can fix the house. If you don't fix the house while mm. the scaffolding is up, and you take the scaffolding away, it will fall down anyway. And that's what a lot of so, people complain about, Zoe, don't they? Say, is it a quick fix? You know, are yeah. doctors handing out antidepressants well, too I freely? Think it gets... You actually probably need some counselling. I think that's a really nice analogy. And what I often say to patients is if you imagine a bath and that's how much fear, how much anxiety, depression you can tolerate and you have taps going in and you have a drain coming out and ideally to fix it, to stop it overflowing, you want to slow down the taps going in which can be the stress, the triggers, whatever you're going through and increase the flow coming out whether that's talking to a family member, a friend, getting counselling, changing your lifestyle. What antidepressants do, they almost give you a bit of extra height on your bath mm. so that you have, you have time to address the fear going in and the fear Sarah, coming out. Like you said, it helped you well, cope but it wasn't really addressing well, the, the thing underlying anxiety. The, one of the side effects for me of being on antidepressants was that because I felt like I was superwoman, because, uh, you know, I felt like I couldn't cope, and then suddenly I was on these pills and I was like, oh, yes, no, I, everything's fine again now, I'm absolutely fine. I did go, go and have some therapy, but because I was sort of so 
anaesthetized to my own emotions. I couldn't really do the therapy. It didn't mm. really, it, it, mm. it didn't make any, I was like, I don't know why I'm here. Everything's fine. I'm fine. I yeah. need to go. I've got stuff to do. What about now? I mean, are you trying to come off antidepressants well, because you don't think you need them or because you still feel I shouldn't be on tablets to cope yeah, with Yeah, I mean, life? I just don't think I want to be on tablets for the rest of my life. It's just one of those things. And also, I, I, I like, you know, I, I was always, I'm quite a sort of, uh, you know, I quite like life. You know, I'm very, I'm always a very positive. I've generally always been quite a sort of positive mm. person, and I do, I do want to feel alive again. You know, and actually stepping off the one that I was on mm. has really helped that. I've but I, I worry about you in your life. You, you're married to a cabinet minister, right? Secretary of State, and politicians. You know, you'll either love them or loathe them. Yeah. You're going to attract criticism from that front. Yeah. You write a column where you give opinions yeah. and you're very, very good at it. Yeah. Therefore, you. because you're very good at it, people are going to react to what yeah. you're saying. So you're in a world where I worry about you. Yes. That Maybe I should just go and live in the country and not <laughs> say anything again and just have, have goats. And, and did but, you ever but, think But I mean, that? the thing is, I think for me personally, I mean, I know that, that lots of people have different experiences, but for me personally, uh, the whole sort of social media shouting, being shouted at constantly by people you've never met and who don't know you was definitely a contributor to, to tipping that point between me just feeling a bit stressed and then actually not being able to cope with it. I mean, I remember once we were, we were out as a family and some woman started shouting at my husband and I turned around to her and said, please, could you not do that in front of the children? Mm -hmm. And she said to me, people like you shouldn't have children shouldn't be allowed to have children in front actually. of your children in front of my children which was like and so things like that happen all the time but that's a very exceptional case I, but I do think on a, on a different scale I think everyone has this especially if you're on the internet and on social media the whole time people judging you who don't know you I mean I, I've come off Facebook and I feel much happier now I'm not on that because that was mm. a bit of a sort of thing and and I just lurk on Twitter now because I can just read the news <laughs> but I don't really do anything and that's okay that's so, so you know, Sarah seems to be a very good example of yeah. someone mm -hmm. who knows what their medication does and knows the limitations yeah. of it as well and mm -hmm. is trying to reclaim her life when it suits her mm. yeah and I think you know antidepressants the thing to remember is they are a wonderful treatment for the right people they're not for everyone remember there are other options as well so changing lifestyle cognitive behavioral therapy mm. talking therapy which you can access online yeah. um, but to anyone who is taking antidepressants who's thinking they might want to come off them the advice is wait until you've felt good on them for six months and then see your GP hey. and come off them very very slowly thank guys thank you very much thank indeed you,